Well, hello everyone and Merry Christmas. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. It's a beautiful day here in Central Texas. And it's 10.15 in the morning. And I'm on my way down to San Antonio uh, to see the grandkids, see my dad, Chris, and everybody. I uh, won't be able to stay too long with each one, uh, but because I have to come back to work the next day. So, uh, right now I am between Copper's Cove and Lamp Passes. And uh, you can see that the roads are not much traffic at all. Just some light clouds. There's no rain expected. It's going to be uh, a warm Christmas. Uh, right now outside it is 71 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, I don't even have the AC on. Side air coming in through the vents. That's it. Let's see. So anyway, I am uh, almost to Lamp Passes right now. you later. You know, it's going to be a, uh, a two-hour drive. And uh, I'll check with you guys later. Okay, guys. Well, I'm just passed through Burnett, Texas uh, on my way to Marble Falls. Just kind of let you know how fast I'm going. I'm going 70 miles an hour, which is about 110 kph. I mean, you can just see just beautiful skies. It's a very beautiful Christmas morning. Not too much traffic. It's starting to pick up a little bit now that I think the people are waking up. through burn it there's hardly any traffic at all and I don't expect much from Marble Falls either now I know when I get to San Antonio there'll be quite a bit of traffic but uh, until then uh, I'll catch you later okay this is Marble Falls we're just gonna do the video all the way through. Ah, I have a call. Well, okay. I've just gone through Johnson City. Uh, the phone call I had was from my, uh, my daughter-in-law. And, uh, I'm going to stop by there first. Uh, it's on the way to my daughter's house. So I'm going to stop by there first. Uh, and, uh, deliver my gifts to the grandkids. And then... Uh, I don't know if... They don't usually allow video. <laughs> in the family there because... just what they don't allow. It's their choice. It's their right. And I will respect it. But they're going to discuss it to see whether or not I can video there or not. But that's okay. Either way, it's okay. Because the important thing is the grandkids.
281 South, just went through Johnson City, and uh, I should be coming into San Antonio. Okay, well, I just uh, went through Blanco, Texas. Normally at Blanco, I would make a right and uh, go on toward my dad's house. But since I'm going to my daughter-in-law's first, we'll be uh, going down this way. There's a bridge up here. That uh, I always like to cross over. Uh, I'm hoping that it will be open and not have to go around it. But, uh, it should be coming up fairly quickly. As you can see, as further south I went, there was more clouds. But I'm still not anticipating rain. I haven't heard anything on the radio or anything like that. It's uh, really nice outside. up here as a uh, rest station so that if you've been driving for a long time and you feel like you need to stop it's got picnic tables and everything so that you can sit down and eat uh, I remember they used to have those things everywhere about every 10 miles there used to be a rest station everywhere some of them have bathrooms, so you can go to the CR if you need to. Uh, this is your Texas, South Central Texas. This is this is how it looks.
Okay, I'm in San Antonio. I'm on Route 1604. Center Church. You take this next exit coming up. And then that will take you up to the Hope Center Church. I did a video on that uh, a few months ago. than the speed limit. I'm not in a rush. You know, this is Christmas Day. I'm not in a rush. You know, I'm going to get there. There's no time frame for me to be anywhere at any time. I would have loved to be able to do would be to <coughs> visit uh, Dwayne and Lovely May uh, while I'm here in San Antonio, but I did not even attempt to contact them or anything. It's been a very busy month for me. as work is concerned. And uh, so in reality, I didn't know if I was going to be able to come down here. So this is just one of those things that uh, kind of a last second, okay, I'm going to do it. I would love to have seen them just to even just drop by, shake their hand, wish them a Merry Christmas and You can watch uh, Dwayne and Lovely May on Adventure of the Hendersons in the Philippines. And, you know, it's just their story. And uh, it's uh, just really a good channel. So get a chance. Watch their uh, watch their channel. It's the Adventures of the Hendersons in the Philippines. coming up to 
restaurants are closed. All of the um, supermarkets are closed. Offices are closed. I think the only thing open are convenience stores and uh, like 7-Elevens and hospitals. It's the only thing that are open. Police also. This is the northern and western side of San Antonio, out by the city limits. Um, this is not in, in San Antonio, downtown, or anything like that. But uh, I'm going to let you uh, get back with you when uh, I get close to the house. Well, okay, guys. Uh, let me see. All right, well, I just finished visiting with my with my daughter-in-law and my grandkids there. Uh, I'm going to provide a picture for it so y'all get to see all of them together. And uh, it was so nice since my grandkids are such wonderful children. And um, so now, I'm on my way to go see my daughter and her kids and my grandkids there. I got two grandsons and uh, uh, we'll go from there. Okay, I'm almost to my daughter's house. And I'm on Rigsby and Pecan Valley. Now I'm at uh, W.W. White and Rigsby, uh, about seven minutes to go, and uh, then I'll be at my daughter's house, so... Yeah, this is a good day. All the clouds are burned off from the heat, so they burned off, and now got pretty much blue skies smiling at me. Nothing but blue skies is what I see. So a good restaurant here uh, used to be called Tapatia. I don't, uh, I haven't seen one. Oh, here it is right here. A tapatia. Uh, they're closed. They will reopen tomorrow. The 
thing about uh, here in Texas is most of the restaurants, in fact, I have not seen a restaurant open uh, all day. Restaurants are closed. Everything's closed. nothing to eat if you're traveling supermarkets are closed Continue straight onto US 87 South Rigsby Avenue. Yeah, we're getting close now. But this is the southeast side of town. My daughter Continue straight onto US 87 South Rigsby Avenue. My daughter in law lives on the northwest side of town. This is the southeast side of town. Continue on US 87 South for one and a half miles. Yeah, that's my GPS talking. And uh, but I'll let you know when we get there. On your bend. Okay, I'm in uh, the neighborhood. Take the next right onto Begonia Bend. all these cars in 1,000 feet your destination will be on the left look at all these cars Your destination is on the left. Ding, ding, ding. Ah. Merry Christmas to you. That's Corella, and she's a scaredy cat. She's all bark. Hi, baby. Oh, this is my daughter. 
This is Steve. Say hi, Steve. Hi. That's Carson. Looks like he just woke up. Merry Christmas, guys. Continue on Lakefront for half a mile. Okay, guys. Uh, I am now on my way to my dad's house. And I think I made a wrong turn here. I don't think so. No, I'm good. Um, on my way to my dad's house, grandson Steve and uh, Carson are doing really good. In 1,000 feet, turn right onto Foster Meadows. And then we, um, and so now I'm on my way to my dad's house to say Merry Christmas. And then I got to go home. Uh, have to work early, early, early in the morning. Take the next right onto Foster Meadows, then turn left onto US 87 North. All right. So, I'll get back with y'all in a little while. Okay, so... I am uh, on I-10, or 35 South, uh, heading into down toward downtown San Antonio. It's the fastest way to get to my father's house. And I just kind of wanted you to see the skyline of San Antonio once we get to a higher area, the, the downtown part of San Antonio. Kind of look in the distance in the back back there. You can see the uh, Hemisphere Tower. Let me see if I can do this see the hemisphere tower back there to go up and an overpass and get a better view. One of these days I'll come out here over here with a better view. So I'll do a trip downtown, take a walk, make a nice walking video. In half a mile, keep right at the fork to stay on I-35 South. Follow signs for I-10, US-87. Keep 
Keep right at the fork to stay on I-35 South. Continue for three quarters of a mile. We're like right on the outside of downtown. In half a mile, take exit 156 for I-10 West, US 87 North toward El Paso. I was just in the wrong part of the area. Take exit 156. Well, okay. Well, it was a day of nobody wanting being videoed today, which is fine with me. Uh, the important thing is getting to see family on Christmas. So, but that's, that. like I said, that's that's fine. I got some new exciting things coming up, um, but uh, uh, it was good to see my dad, Chris, my brother, Ken, his wife, Trish, um, my daughter, my grand and my daughter-in-law and my grandkids on both sides. Man, I tell you what, this is unbelievable day. I'm smiling. So, uh, everybody have a wonderful Christmas and remember it's not the giving of gifts that's important I mean Christmas came for a reason and it's not just to celebrate the birth of the Christ child it is to celebrate what he came to do and that was to give his life for the remission of our sins and that through him, we can be like him. And so, everyone, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and enjoy your day.